Hi everybody, my name is Janine, the Celestial Guidance with Janine. <laughs> um, so I keep thinking I'm gonna change it back to Janine's Spiritual Medium. I just don't know about the Celestial one. Okay, so there's been a lot of energy going on and I've been a little busy, so I've been doing um, psychic readings on uh, this hotline. So I've been a little busy, so I've been trying to get back on track. So I'm trying to do that in the morning and then I can do videos at night. So in this video, I'm talking about the energy for this week, and then we have the super full moon, uh, pink full moon coming up on Tuesday, I believe, uh, 26, 27. So it depends on where you're from. Um, but it's a very powerful full moon, and I just keep feeling in the energy I'm feeling. It's like coming out, like shining like a star, like a diamond coming out. Um, it's like really shining your light. There's really coming out of our... Uh, coming out of our comfort zones and really shining and coming forward and really taking action. So I had to make some notes because of a lot of information I was receiving. Uh, but the first thing they wanted to say is that, you know, it's been a really heavy week and I've been down for like two days with a migraine, throwing up all day Wednesday, no TMI, but yeah, I was really, really sick. So there's a lot of heavy energy going on. There's a lot of geostorms going on, solar flares, so and it's what it's doing, it's it's ridding our bodies of all this unwanted energy or unneeded energy that we don't need, um, like old karma. So we've been shedding a lot of old karma. So there's the five things that I'm going to go over. Uh, but it's just they want everybody to understand that you, know, you may be have, you know, feeling like aches and pains or backache. I'm having a lot of lower back pain. Um, uh, what else? Uh, headaches, migraines, fatigue anxiety, frustration. Oh, I was feeling frustrated the other day too. Um, but it's just all these emotions that are just, um, energy is being cleared. We're being upgraded. Like, um, just ride with it. They're saying, just go with the flow. It's just go with the flow. There's going to be more coming up and a lot of more frustrations. And just know that it's energy that's being taken out of us because we've been cleansing a lot of old karma so that we can move forward in our lives. So the five things I was getting is also to, um, this is not the five things, <laughs> make sure you drink a lot of water, make sure you're drinking plenty of um, like good water. And if you are hungry, you know, eat kind of light. I know I haven't really been hungry. So like protein drinks are good or nuts, you know, high vibrational foods, uh, fresh vegetables, you know, try to stay away from packaged foods, um, you know, greasy foods, that kind of stuff. You want to keep your body light, especially with this time going on right now. Um, and you may feel emotional and that's okay because the full moon is in Scorpio. So you might feel a little sensitive, you know, a little emotional and that's okay. It's just part of the process and just go with the flow. Just ride with it. Just ride the wave. And it's, it's just, that's all they're saying. Just ride the wave. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to get ahead of myself and I'm getting a little stammered here. Okay. So five things, um, I think that it would be really good for you to know for, um, this pink super full moon. So they're saying to also um, to make sure you uh, do your water, clean the water, uh, charge your water. Have um, if you're doing any kind of um, uh, water that you want to charge under the moon, you want to use distilled water or you don't want to use tap water. So that's just want to make sure that we're clear on that. You don't you you use good water. So if it's distilled alkaline if you want to be able to drink it or if you're going to use it for cleansing if you want to make sure it's good water so make sure you get good water if you're charging the water under the full moon if you even want to add a clear quartz to it you can do that as well and if you want to make it a mitch which you moon water you can add some salt to it um some pink salt so you know it'll actually give us some more power um so the five things it's really time for us to really step into our power and that's what i was hearing so step into our craft it's time to take action and time to make our dreams come true. So for me, I, you know, I, I, um, I don't know how I got this, um, email, but it was from this seven cents app and I just kept getting these, these, um, I kept getting like horoscopes and all of a sudden my mind was like, Hmm, what if they're hiring psychics? You know, I've already did psychic hotline before and I really didn't like, um, the rush of of it. So I really wasn't you know, sure if I was supposed to be doing this one. So when I got, you know, I got tired and I went through the test and they loved me. I was just like, oh my God, okay, wow. You know, maybe this is meant to be. So I'm going with the flow with it. And so like, it's like little things like that might happen. You're not sure what happened, how you got an email or a text or something. You know, take a little action, follow through with it. And you'll see where it might take you. 
is this time for us to start really making our dreams come true? This is really time for us to start taking action and start creating what we really want in our lives. You know, instead of having the lack of or the scarcity, you know, it's really time for us to step up. It's time for us to shine our light and to really show people, or not really show people, but really just to step into your light, step into your power and start taking action on what the dream that you're trying to create for yourself. Um, we have been shedding layers of old karma. You were to get to this point, um, like dark soul, the dark night of the soul, you're going through the journey, soul retrieval, depression, you know, things like that. Um, and it's okay if you still feel emotional. It's like, you know, it's time to release it all. It's like, it's like the old ego, the old ego death of us dying. And that's what it's a feeling like. So it's like we're shifting into a whole new energy and we're shifting into a whole new, I keep hearing dimension, but I'm not quite sure if it's really a dimension, but it's, we're shifting. <laughs> so plain and simple, we are shifting. We're going to the next level. And we have to get ourselves grounded. We got to get ourselves centered um, so that we can move forward freely and with freedom. Um, it's time to like break free from the cage and from the vision that's been holding us back. You know, the, the veil is like being um, like a helmet or a veil being taken away from our eyes so you can actually see more clearly. That's the vision that we're, I am seeing that we are receiving and that I have been receiving myself. So it's like experience that I'm trying to share unto you that I'm receiving. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, another one is, okay, so the other ones are saying stay in the flow, stay grounded. Um, you know, take one baby step at a time, breathe. And it's really important to meditate and create your reality. To break free of your limiting thoughts and your beliefs. This is really time for us to really step up. It's time, to, I, I can keep hearing, it's time to step up. It's time to step up. It's time to shine our light. It's really time to, the word I keep hearing is to show people what you got. <laughs> so show people what you got. You know, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're into house decorating, uh, if you're into crystal healing, show them what you got. Shine your light. Um... They're just saying to really have faith in yourself. It's like, this is the time to go heart-centered and to really stop being up in here in the monkey mind. Because the monkey mind, that's just the ego. And then the ego wants to control everything and just wants to, I know it's trying to protect us, but at times it feels like it's holding me back. So you want to tell that thing to jump off, just be quiet. You can sit there and watch and observe, but I don't need any input. I don't need your output. I don't need anything you have to tell me. Because anytime ego steps in, it's always in the wrong direction. So as long as you're heart-centered, really stay heart-centered. Um, you think and meditate and open your heart. Be conscious of your thoughts, but don't dwell on those thoughts. Okay, if that makes sense. You want to be in the heart space. Really bring it down to the heart. Put your hands to your heart if you're having trouble. You know, if you're in your head so much and you're circling over those same thoughts over and over and over, bring your hands to your heart because that way it helps you. <sighs> okay, get centered, you know, get yourself back back. Okay, um, so number four, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't say the numbers. Number four, we are shifting to the next level of an energy, really keeping your thoughts positive. You know, make you feel, um, you may feel like you're sliding, but you're actually propelling forward. So what they're showing me is that because of all the stuff we've been going through and all the um, the solar flares and all this stuff that we've been going through, they're saying that we're getting ready, getting ready to next level up. It's like um, an upgrade or I'm not sure. But the word I'm hearing or way I'm feeling it is that they really want us to start meditating, to really get grounded, um, to watch those and really watch those limiting thoughts of beliefs. And when we're meditating, imagine um, like a white light coming from the source, coming from the energy, coming from the universe, coming straight down to our head. And it's just flooding your whole body, like just, just flooding everything down, white light and love, cleaning all your auras, all your chakras, or all the aura, <laughs> and, and all the chakras, getting everything balanced. But you want everything grounded. So you want to meditate, a white light going down through the head, through the crown, through the third eye, through the throat chakra, your heart, your solar plexus, your sacral, and then your root, and your star feet your energies, your hands, you got, you got uh, chakras in your hands. So you want to make sure that 
the white light is going through everything and just cleanse your body. It's like a body scan. It's like it's what I'm feeling like. And um, they're saying to be aware of how you might feel too. Be care, uh, not be careful. Be observant of how you might feel, your body, tingling sensations, your hands, your body, whatever you're, if you're feeling it, to really feel it and just really vibrate it down. So they're like, notice how it makes you feel as it's going over, it's just scanning over you, but they're also saying it knows how it feels afterwards. And then also make sure you're drinking plenty of water. They're really stressing the water. Make sure we're giving ourselves, you know, we're being hydrated. I don't think enough of us are drinking enough water. So they're saying drink plenty of fresh water or alkaline water, something good water, not tap water. Stay away from tap water. Okay. Um, the fifth thing is, um, Okay, so shifting into the next level. Also, you know, be careful of the thoughts that you're having. You know, what is it, the energy that you're putting out? Like for me, I'm putting out the energy, you know, I'm starting to receive the information and I've been receiving this for a while, but it's up to me to step into the power. You know, I'm a psychic medium and I do read card readings and it's really start, it's time for me to start living that spiritual life. It's time for me to really step up and start being it. So working on that on the phone lines in the morning from eight to one or eight to 12 or whatever, or even nine to one, um, it helps me to get grounded and stay grounded into helping and being a service and, you know, stepping and doing my job. And that's what I do. And it makes me feel so much more fulfillment that I'm able to help people. Um, and I can use my gifts to assist other people. And it makes me feel good that I can do that. And it makes me feel needed. <laughs> and I think that's me as a light worker. I just like to feel, you know, needed, I guess. Or, you know, like my dog. When my dog loves me and needs me, it just, it makes you feel so much good. It makes you feel like, oh my God, wow. You know, like this dog really loves me. So it's like that feeling. It's like you get that, that needy. Or when your kid loves you, when your, your daughter or your, your son or, you know, your children need you. You know, it's that same feeling of, you know, when I, when you're helping other people, I just get the sense of fulfillment inside, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so the fifth thing is saying that also watch for the synchronicities, um, the numbers, animals, um, uh, being aware, um, of being shown your answers. I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff they were giving me. Um, cause we're being shown the answers. We're being, we're being given answers to our questions we're too busy in our heads and our lives to watch or listen. So we miss, we may miss that opportunity. So they're saying to be observant of the numbers, you know, not really observant, but I mean, if you're passing by and you see three, 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 and then all of a sudden, like an hour later, you, the clock turns to three, 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 or you see a license plate and it happens to be three, three, three. I would definitely look that up because that means something, you know, it's like, to me, I think three, three, three was, um, support from the universe, like, um, father, ghost, uh, it's like the Trinity, Mark of the Trinity or something. But it just shows me that we're being supported. And the, the messages are from our guides, our light being family, that their messages, oh, I got goosebumps with that one. Their messages from our family um, to help us and guide us. You know, we came down here knowing we would forget. We came down here knowing that it would the energy would be dense and it was going to be hard to get through. And so they left us little signals to help remind us and to help us to wake up and to remind us and remember who we really are. We're more than just a skin body. Okay, so, I'm sorry, there's six things. <laughs> they had one more thing they wanted to add. It was a little extra special one. And they're saying number six is to surrender. Really let go of all doubts and trust yourself, trust your intuition and the messages you are receiving because we're all we we are all receiving the messages we are all really getting connected into the next step and level up of what we're supposed to be doing so for me i've been uh one of the funny things is i was i've been reading the dolores canna book um th th i'm looking at the book right now <laughs> the three final waves uh the the three waves of volunteers by dolores canna and they're all stories of um hypnosis that she had done across with people uh, I guess all over and I, I don't know where she, the book was based on, but anyway, she had a bunch of people she did a bunch of stories for and she put them under hypnosis to help, you know, a lot of people want to know who they are, where they came from, why they're here. You got to get this book. It's such a great book. And I came across this one passage with Lemuria and I've always had a connection to Atlantis, but now that I think of it and I look at it, Lemuria is like, it's, it's incredible. Lemuria apparently is from Hawaii and Hawaii was 
a massive, massive island before it was, you know, crushed down or sunk under. And about five years ago with my awakening or six years ago, I think it was, it was right around that time. Um, I used to love to boogie board. I used to love to go in the ocean. And then when my awakening hit, I felt this fear of going into the ocean. I won't even, I'm like, I'll put my feet in, but I won't boogie board. Just the thought of how deep and vast the ocean was just freaked me out. And I love going to the beach. I mean, I live 20 minutes from the beach and I love to go body, you know, boogie boarding. But for some reason, for five years, I was in fear of going into the ocean. And it was like, it, just the thought of how big it was and how vast and how deep and you don't know what's under there. You know, that type of fear is just, oh my God. And coming across this book and reading it today, it just, it really touched me. And the other remarkable thing was too, is the crystals. I really believe in crystals. And I always have. I've always felt that I know they work. I feel the energy from them. And especially my first crystal I ever had was a clear quartz. And that thing got so hot in my hand. And I had no idea it was a healer. And it was just the energy of the feeling of it. And my hands were tingling and vibrating. And it's such an incredible, uh, like, wow, I can't believe this thing is, like, vibrating in my hand. It's a rock. So I definitely, you got to read this book. It was, like, so intense. And about She was talking about Lemuria and how they would charge these crystals by the energy and then they would give them to people and i'm like oh my god that's what i do i'm always charging up crystals or you know giving them white light and love and then i give them to people as gifts now some people don't like them because they think it's you know why would i give my used crystal but i've always thought it's like gives you good luck it's like gives you um good energy and you know i always put white light and love in it or i use it for whatever i need for it but then i feel like somebody else might need it and then i give them that crystal because it's from my heart and, you know, it's supposed to help somebody else. And I got goosebumps. <laughs> I'm sorry. That passage really connected with me today. And it really, and it's so funny because my best friends, uh, two of my best friends are Hawaiian. And then um, my my husband, his daughters are Samoan, Hawaiian. They're from the South Pacific. So I'm kind of surrounded in the whole Hawaiian aspects. And I always wanted to go to Hawaii and I almost moved out there years ago, but I never went down that road, but it's just funny. So those are little synchronicities, the little things, you know, we're being shown who we really are, you know, and I know I've been shown visions of being on a light ship and making a decision to come down here because I knew that I would be able to help some way, somehow. And I knew that, you know, by me being here, I was going to be able to be of service to spread love, to give people hope. And to know that, you know, there's so much more out there than we realize. And we're not just human, you know, we, we're more than just this human body that we're feeling. And, you know, it's time for us to really step up. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to remember who we really are. And we're more than just this avatar, you know, this skin body. You know, who we are on the inside is just we're all energy. And we're starting to really come into that power and starting to really realize how much power we have in us and who we really are and why are we here. Some of us is just here, just to be here, just for the experience, you know, because a lot of us, we just float up in the clouds. We do nothing all for eternity. So to be able to come down here to have an earthly experience, to be a tree or rock, a human, a dog, whatever it is, is what an experience to go back to, you know, it's like, wow, I was, a, I was a tree for a thousand years or whatever, you know, it's just incredible. So you got to get this book. I just, I can't, if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend it. Oh, and the other thing is really interesting that I found, I have to share this part. Because I've been sharing about this part for about a year, about that, maybe nine months. That's time to stop thinking with the monkey mind and really go with the heart. And there was a passage in there where the late um, Dolores was connecting with a woman. And they want us to really remember uh, that we need to come from our heart. We need to wake up from our heart. We need to think from our heart, not from our minds. And that's why I kept hearing it's time to now start thinking with our heart, not with our minds, not with the ego mind. Really start putting that aside. So it gave me confirmation and made me feel good because it gave me confirmation. The information I received was right on target. So start thinking with the heart, really start coming from here. Quit thinking with up here, put the ego mind and how this person affects you, you know, really pull back your power, you know, just really get your power back and put your hands to your heart to help clean your heart. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a video next about um, this one really great crystal I found. And I had to make so many notes about it because I can't believe I had been holding onto the stone for six years and I had no idea what this power, you know, it all meant to be when it's supposed to happen, right? So 
I'm going to talk about that crystal nest. I can't wait. It's so exciting. I love this crystal. I love crystals and I love how they just make you, they really change your body. They really change the energy in you. And it's just really time for us to really start cleansing ourselves and really start moving forward. Start taking action. Start moving into the direction that you want for your dream and that you want to create. Start listening to your intuition. Don't doubt yourself. Listen to your intuition. Quiet the mind. Go within. Journal if you have to, you know, whatever it is. But you we're all getting the information so it's just really time to settle down get quiet go within i know it might be a little frustrating right now they're saying <laughs> but just take a deep breath and just you know light your incense light your candle make it perfect for you you know have your glass of wine whatever that you want to do you know your water your tea but just get grounded get yourself into that space where you can really ask yourself and go into that direction of finding your light and go doing what you want to do to shine your light Okay, I hope that helps. <laughs> There's a lot of information. Um, but if you have any comments or if you need any extra help or anything like that, always email me or um, leave me a comment and I'll reply back and I'll try to assist you as fast as I can. Um, it might be like a couple hours, but I usually do respond right away. Um, but yeah, if you need anything, just like give me a comment. If you I hope you hit that subscribe button and I hope you hit, hit that like button. Okay, thank you again so much for coming by, you guys. I hope you have a great night and happy full moon blessings and the super pink moon. It's going to be in Scorpio, so it's going to be a little rocky, but it's still, it's going to be good energy. It's all about how you perceive it. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.